excited about working on this guy. He was going to be an experiment of mine, one of those paintings I just like to let loose on the background of texture and I'll show you all my tips and tricks and how I created all these interesting little uh, things that draw your eye in. Now, I love putting black and white against a very colorful background. It's just something I love to do. And this is full of emotion and texture and lighting and contrast between color and black and white so it makes it one of those pieces that draw you in. And his eyes are especially very intense as he's looking off that way. You gotta wonder, what is this guy's scoop? Why is his hair sticking up? Why does he look so sad? Uh, well, I call this one, I once was. I thought it was very appropriate for this painting. Um, well, can't wait to get started on it, so let's begin. Hi guys, welcome back. Today, we are gonna be working on something a little different. It's a male portrait. And not only is he male, but he's an older gentleman, so he's going to have a lot of wrinkles and character. His hair is all messy and sticking up and uh, kind of looks like he just woke up. And he's got that distant uh, look in his eyes, which uh, I'm just going to make it like more of an, an emotional piece, which I like. And the only color I'm going to put in is going to be black and white, so we're gonna, that's going to be different working in uh, all gray tones. Maybe a little sepia. Um, I'm going to stamp some, maybe some goldish tones or orangish gold tones into the background. Um, it's going to be our only color. So let's get started on this one. All right, so, so far, colors that I put out is black and white and a basic brown for sepia tones. Okay, so let's get started. Kind of have them sketched out where I want them, and we're going to start with the eyes first, like I always do. And we're going to mix up some white and a little tab of gray. Now we're going to take that gray that we mixed up, and we're going to add white to it and get this. Eyeball color, which we are going to start with. Just a nice gray tone. Put that in. It's going to be darker at the top. And of course, we'll lighten it up to make it look roundish around here. Show the curve of the eye. Show the curve of the eye. We're going to get some light white. Put it here and here and just blend it out. Try not to get in your way with my head. It's a little difficult to find a good angle to paint with. Okay. Now we're going to take the white same eyeball color. Just start putting in around the forehead. There we go. Basic first layer of color. Now, we're going to take a little bit of black, get down here, burn that in.
week. So you have this some gray mixed in with it. It's just a lighter color. I'm going to go around, kind of lighten up around the edges of his eyeball. Very light, light pressure. Just kind of blend it out. very experimental but I kind of know the colors I'm going to use which are like a pumpkin orange, like a mustard yellow, this brighter yellow, here's a gold color and some white. Now I'm going to take this light, light color and just
way it came out. It's got mood, it's got tension, it's got texture, it's got lighting. Um, the eyes are pretty good. They uh, suck you into this wonderful experimentation that uh, we did. I hope you guys had fun watching me create this. It's a once, one of a kind, <laughs> original that, uh, you know, once in a while I did, I just let myself go. Not the realism or the landscape or this or that. Just something to let myself go. And this was one of those pieces. So I hope you guys had fun watching me with my experimentation painting. So keep on practicing. And until next time, bye-bye. And don't forget to subscribe.